Hey there YouTube, today we'll be doing a how-to video on the USD Sway Soul Plate mod on them skates 909 and 908 model. Here are some of the things you're going to need in order to get your completed setup. You'll need two drill bits, 1364 inch and 1132 inch, small Phillips head screwdriver, a metal pick or anything you can use to make marks, wheels and bearings for your new frame setup. Now let's, let's go ahead and get the wheels and bearings out of the way. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and move on to the skate setup. Now let's go ahead and remove the sole plates. I actually really enjoyed the stock sole plates, but I got these skates second hand, so I ended up wearing them down faster than I expected. So I, got, I went ahead and took these sole plates off my them U1 setup, and I wanted to try these out with my new Wish medium chassis frames. Make sure you keep all your old hardware organized and intact in case you ever need to go back to stock. In my case, I'll be putting them back onto my U1 skates. Maybe post them for sale later, or they'll just keep them in my room for nostalgia. Now go ahead and just keep removing all the internal and external pieces of the skate, such as the liner, insoles, and hardware. I'm also going to be readjusting the cuff back to the high setting, just because when I got the skates, they were already in the low setting. And I want to be able to see if I can tell the difference. Also, now's a pretty good time to let you guys know that I already had shaved my sole plate sidewalls, which is the part of the sole plate that raises around the boot. And I did this because it was creating pressure points on the side of my foot and also causes pressure on the boot so it makes it a little bit harder to slide it on. So after shaving it down with a grinder, I was able to get the sole plate easily onto the boot. However, you can just push the sole plate onto the boot with a little bit of pressure and by putting the T-nuts on the inside of the boot, you can get it to work uh, without having to shave it if your foot fits without any issues. Here's how the sole plate looks when it's on. And now that it's mocked up, we're gonna go ahead and grab the big bit and go ahead and get ready to drill the holes. Normally, I would tell you to mark the holes with the sole plate on. However, I already had pre-existing marks due to the stocks uh, frame bolts just barely reaching to the boot and making some marks. So I used those in order to drill it. As you can see, they fit nice. Now you can mark up the sole plate and go ahead and start working on making your marks for the new sole plate hardware after you tighten down the bolts on the T-nuts so that the sole plate is firmly in place. Then go ahead and remove the sole plate. That way we can go ahead and look to uh, drill, the uh, drill the holes that we made. Now this drill bit is just ever so slightly uh, either the same size or slightly bigger or smaller I mean. So it will be a slightly tight fit getting them in but this is to make it so that they don't spin around as much when you're tightening and loosening the hardware. So as you can see here, you can see where the, the marks I made, I punctured holes so I can make it easier for me to see, but the new hardware is in completely different places. Now we grab the small bit, go ahead and make those holes, and go ahead and install the new hardware. A uh, huge shout out to Long at Oak City Skate Shop. I got these sole plates from him. As far as I know, these were the last ones I was able to order from any shop around uh, in size 7.5 to 8. He also was kind enough to be able to find me some hardware because uh, unfortunately the hardware was also sold out for this piece. So I got hardware from uh, another skate, but it just happens to all be fairly universal. So again, huge shout out to Long at Oak City Skate Shop. Hopefully these will be back in stock at the nearest skate shop near you, so you can get them online or again the nearest skate shop in your city. For me, that's going to be Nickel and Dime. Hopefully they'll be carrying USD parts soon. So huge shout out to Nickel and Dime. And huge shout out to Brett Dasovic for uh, inspiring me to make these uh, voiceover edits. But if you guys think they're whack, go ahead and let me know and I'll try to start making more traditional videos. Of just me filming me actually talking and shit. I just think I'm weird. Now we've got the sole plate all mocked up and installed properly, we're going to go ahead and swap over all the laces and get it all set up like how I would normally skate. Putting in the liner, Rain V3, an internal insole shock absorber, yoga mat insole between the boot and sole plate, green 50-50 classic balance frame, sick urethane cam Talbot 90A hardness 60mm wheels, moonshine UHMW anti rockers, and them skates 909. John Julio and Kyle Sola's masterpiece. And of course, I had to throw in those four dots. Now I'll go ahead and show you the other setup that I was working on. Uh, this is the, my anti rocker setup, and I'll go ahead and grab my uh, flat setup here, which is the new Wish Frames that I just got. Again, huge shout out to Cletus and Wish Frames and International Skate, shop, uh, skate Off for hosting a sick event online, uh, allowing me the opportunity to win those frames. Can't wait to try them out. Hope you guys enjoyed.